Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna cover as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum, the DXY and also Nasdaq quickly because I am still here in Davos enjoying my Easter holidays. So let's dive straight into the content, my friends. And I also want to give first a big shout out to the trading team over on Femex. The event is ended here and we became rank number four. So congratulations, my friends. Uh, we got uh, a little bit of the prize pool. So enjoy this win. It will be distributed, I think, on the 13th of April, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes, exactly. So just keep your funds here until uh, the prize uh, is arrived. Um, and then, of course, you can withdraw everything again here, unless, of course, you want to continue to trade over on Femex. I very much recommend you to trade here on Femex and, of course, also over on Bybit. So if you don't want to miss out on the next event, and by the way, on Bybit, we have one event running at the moment. So make sure that you're joining it and trading here over on Bybit to also win a little bit of this prize pool. If you need any kind of account over on Bybit and Femex, make sure to use my referral links down below here in the description. You will get some extra money and also you support the channel, of course. And now we can start straight here into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because we are forming this symmetrical triangle. And the problem is currently that we are trading below the EMA ribbons, but that is uh, often the case when we are just going sideways. So very soon I'm expecting here a big bounce to the upside from the support that we're creating here at $57,300. And then most likely also have here a breakout to the upside and then continue to go up here to retest these $61,000 dollars area so this resistance up here that we still have and need to be broken in order to see big explosive moves to the upside so we are in this consolidation phase right now and since here in the three hour time frame we could get a buy signal very soon i'm pretty confident that here we're gonna see a big breakout to the upside the only problem is that we still are in this downtrend in the lower time frames so there could be a chance also that here we could see a breakout to the downside first to retest this 55k area and then reconfirm this main support down here as an actual support and then of course have a big bounce again to the upside because in the bigger picture we are still looking very bullish my friends so only here in the lower time frames it looks like that we still could see a little bit of continuation to the downside if we're gonna lose the support currently here of around 57k but if here we're gonna have a successful bounce and a confirmed buy signal in the three hour time frame because here on this code we are trading with the three hour and of course all the way the daily time frame then i'm expecting here a big move to the upside and then of course go up here to retest this 61 62k area and then hopefully have a big breakout to the upside because we have to see a big breakout to the upside or also to the downside in these next coming days my friends we are coming to the end of this ascending triangle and the sooner we break out to the upside the better because if we are going into the edge here of this ascending triangle usually this is a very bearish sign because in that case a breakout to the downside is more likelier since uh, we should see the breakout usually at around 75 percent of uh, the pattern so that means that we should expect to break out very very soon in the next coming days and not wait until we are reaching the end of this ascending triangle and if we go over into the daily, you can see it better here that we are still within this ascending triangle with this rising support here. The main support is currently right here at the bottom of the EMAs in the daily here at 55K. So we shouldn't go lower than that. And the resistance, of course, is still up here at around $62,000. Now, we still have here a sell signal in the daily time frame. So we're still waiting here for a confirmed buy signal in order to have here a confirmed buy signal and therefore also continuation to the upside so the good thing is that at least we have the rsi above the 50 level but we still need to wait here for a confirmed buy signal in the daily time frame in order to be bullish again that we will see continuation to the upside because the problem right now is that we also have fallen below the nine daily moving average and the 20 daily is right here at the main support of around 57k so we should close the daily candles again above $58,400 in order to go back into an uptrend and also to get a buy signal. Otherwise, 
we could stay in this region here for some more days before then we're going to have a big move to the upside or also to the downside and of course the most important thing is that we are not starting to close daily candles below 57k so below the 20 daily moving average and even more important is that we are not closing daily candles below the 50 daily moving average right at the main support of around 55k so this is what we need to look here in the daily time frame but since we are still in this bullish pattern i'm expecting here a continuation to the upside and therefore also big explosive moves above $62,000 and the same thing goes also for Ethereum Ethereum is also still looking very bullish we are still in this consolidation here above $2,000 so in the daily time frame we are still above the nine daily moving average right here $2,020 so as long as we're closing daily candles above the nine daily moving average we should see here also big bounces to the upside and of course create new all-time highs very soon but if today or in the next coming days we're going to close a daily candle below the nine daily then be prepared to see the price retracing back down towards its previous resistance which now should be acting as a new support at $1,850 exactly where all the 20 daily moving average is lining up and latest here I'm expecting then of course a big bounce to the upside so in the daily time frame here for Ethereum, everything is also still looking good because we are in an uptrend. But of course, if we would start to close daily candles below the nine daily moving average, we would get here a confirmed sell signal in the daily. And this usually means often during an uptrend that we are coming back down at least down towards the 20 daily moving average to retest this moving average and then hopefully also have a big bounce to the upside. And I think this is what could happen here if today we're going to close below the nine daily moving average. But otherwise, everything is still looking very bullish here. And also in the four hour time frame, of course, we got here a sell signal and we are cooling off yet. So it is possible that we could even come down towards $1,850. But overall, also here for Ethereum, after this short term pullback that we maybe could get here, I think we will recover very fast and go towards new all time highs very, very soon. And another driver, in my opinion, which is bullish for Ethereum and Bitcoin is the DXY because the DXY currently is falling off the cliffs as expected, my friends. We got rejected here at this big resistance trend line, which came from our ascending broadening wedge. And right now we also had a close below the 200 daily moving average. And if we're going to see here continuation to the downside towards the bottom of the EMA ribbon. So here at around ninety one dollars and seventy cents. I think this will lead, of course, in a big pump in the Bitcoin and Ethereum price. And if we would go back in a downtrend here in the DXY and maybe come down to retest the main support that in theory we should have at around ninety dollars then this would fire up a lot of the crypto market and of course also the stock market. So we're going to have to keep an eye what is going on here with the DXY because currently we are seeing a big rejection. That doesn't mean that we are back in a bear market or at least back into a downtrend here in the daily time frame, but that could be the beginning of such a big sell off here from the DXY. We are still in an uptrend, so everything is going to be depending where we're going to see a bounce here. It is possible that at the bottom of the EMAs here, we already will see a big bounce to the upside and then go up again to retest here the main resistance. But overall, we are most likely going to go a bit lower here or maybe start to go sideways. And that, of course, is very good for the crypto and stock market. And speaking about stock market, if we go to Nasdaq, you can see that here we continue to pump. And that, of course, is very bullish because we are most likely coming up here to retest this $14,000 and then most likely likely also going to see continuation to the upside and therefore we're going to see new all-time highs very soon in Nasdaq in my opinion even though we are also here a bit overbought and exhausted but even if we would come down to reconfirm this support that we have now at 13,000 $200 also here I'm expecting continuation to the upside same like also in the crypto market Bitcoin and Ethereum so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our great discord trading chat then make sure to use the invitation link that you find here in the description once you have clicked on this invitation link you have to go here to read first and then click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat 
And if you also want to get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. And of course, also if you get the full indicator to all other coins or stocks, then you have to send me a private message directly here on Discord because a small donation is needed in order to get this indicator. Or you can just get here the membership subscription over on YouTube. Like this, you have free access to the live stream indicator here on Discord as well. So if you like the content, my friends, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Best regards out of Devos and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.